Inside Out is a 3D animated film produced by Pixar Studios and directed by Pete Doctors in 2015. This film contains a marvellous story told by its unique concept, characters and their performances, all showcased beautifully through the movie's use of the 12 principles of animation, highlighting its strengths in storytelling. With these base principles, Inside Out was able to create a highly believable characters, body performances and realistic scenes that portray real emotions perfectly. The story revolves around an 11 year old girl named Riley and her world being turned upside down when her and her parents moved to San Francisco. Going inside her mind we're introduced to her emotions, joy, sadness, anger, fear and disgust. Physical personas of each primary emotion, little people inside our brain operating how we feel and react to things. Throughout the movie her emotions have issues in control, forcing joy and sadness to leave, giving full control to only anger, fear and disgust. Leaving Riley with very negative and conflicting emotions, her entire world seems dark and sad, not being able to emotionally support herself. After Riley's first day in a new school, she finds herself at the family table, showing clear signs of negative and weird behaviour for her parents to see in question. The emotions left inside Riley's mind try their best to cover up and pretend to be joyful, but through some beautiful character acting and behaviour it has shown that she seems very bothered. In retaliation, her mother's emotions try and investigate and find out what's the issue through getting the dad to act. Four. What should we do? We're gonna find out what's happening, but we'll need support. Signal the husband. Ahem. <clears throat> In order for the scene to work, Riley must have a high quality level of facial behaviour to make her current feelings and raw emotions clear to the viewer, but thanks to the animation principles that achieves this. Even though these are 3D animated characters, they all portray real human emotions in a more exaggerated way. As seen of the lip syncing, the animators decided to propel how much their mouths move and change, giving a clear visual indicator of their mood and feelings. From this one shot alone, you're able to tell Riley's feelings without a word. Her facial expressions speak out to the viewer as sad, even though she isn't real. As Sean Lasseter said during a 2009 interview, I call myself the logic police because everything in our films has got to be logical. For the world we've created, not realistic, but believable. I believe that animation doesn't need to perfectly imitate reality as animation can often make visuals more understandable than a real actor. In this instance, they've found squats and stretching the mouth and facial features to show a more desired feeling clearer, blending the face to unnatural proportions to achieve this. In addition to the scene, every character shown is holding utensils, moving them in very different and unique ways, in the animation principle known as secondary action. This principle is important in heightening interest and adding realistic complexity to animation. For example, Riley is shown feeling of her fork, showing very anxious behaviour. The mother has her fork very still and calm, indicating her rational, level-headed thinking and a dad's very expressive way of using a fork to talk. Another aspect that makes this shot work so well is the principle of timing. To indicate the father's lack of understanding and miscommunication, they use timing to have a large delay between actions, not afraid to use silence as a way of storytelling. Ah, so, Riley, how was school? Oh, oh, you kidding me? Here it helps add another form of character acting that would be lost without it. Upon receiving a very aggressive answer from Riley, the dad's emotions decide to use the foot, an action that he only uses for desperate occasions. Prepare the foot! Position. Ready to launch on your command, sir. Just shut up! Fire! The scene masterfully uses a handful of animation principles that help make the impact even more heavy. Anticipation, slow in and out, and exaggeration are the primary principles used that really blend everything together. Everything in this sequence is a build up to the foot being put down, with intense moments of tension. Here they use anticipation fully by making the two actions linger on, preparing audience members for the moment. Either by readying the arms to throttle the handle or slamming a button, both feel like proper moments of anticipation and give insight into the thoughts of the characters. In addition, slow in and out can be seen within these actions, easing into the fast and hardy slam. This is done by having fewer frames upon going into the hit, making the impact look faster, showing a very natural real-world effect of accelerating into an action. Once anger goes full rage, he's shown with a large amount of exaggeration, exploding into a volcanic eruption. This principle is used to push the movement further and add more appeal into the action, pose and expression. Here it is making his true feelings clear to the viewers, showing his fiery nature. 
Once the father puts down his foot, Riley leaves in a fit of anger, stomping away from the room. He are able to use the principal follow through and overlapping action in the hair, a very real effect found within reality. It shows her hair carrying momentum from her movement. As hair weighs much less, it demonstrates how different body parts tend to move at different rates, flinging further than the head. Afterwards, we also see the principal of arcs in a walk up the stairs. Riley moves in a round, smoother motion, just like the real world, instead of going from point to point. This is used for more expressive actions, and often avoids less stiff movement when going along a straight path. It is clear with all these animation principles that it helps tell a richer story, with believable characters and emotions. With this one scene alone you can see how effective it can be, engaging viewers into this fictional world and tell a unique story. Each shot beautifully blends every animation principle together in order to achieve this, and without it, Inside Out wouldn't be nearly as effective. Following Riley, you're made to believe her acting and behavior is real, that she's feeling real, raw human emotions that we all deal with, but thanks to this we're introduced and immersed to this fantastic world and characters of Inside Out.